So it's been nearly a year now since the Philip Schofield non-sury drama played out everywhere. And I mean, it was everywhere. The mainstream media, social media, even on my channel. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone had a theory and everyone had an opinion. Now, there's been a whole load of debates about when Philip Schofield actually met Matthew McGreevy. I mean, the mainstream media say it was when he was 15. But there is a photo circulating of Philip Schofield with uh, a group of drama students which Matthew McGreevy is included in and he's just a little boy. So I'll leave that one with you. Now, while the whole thing was played out everywhere last year, the one person everybody wanted to hear from was Matthew McGreevy. And yet he didn't pop up anywhere. He was let go from ITV and apparently this was down to Philip Schofield. And there have been various rumours as to what he's been up to since, including rumours of a gag order. Now, I remember rumours of the gag order and that it was ending apparently in September last year, but September came and went and still nothing. Well, now the mainstream media have confirmed there was a gagging order. Both men signed it and it turns out Philip Schofield paid off Matthew McGreevy with a six-figure sum, including for any financial losses. Now, Philip Schofield did come out and do an interview with a newspaper where he said it was the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But if that was his truth and what really happened, then why on earth didn't he collaborate with Matthew McGreevy just to confirm his story? Why hide behind a gagging order? Why pay off Matthew McGreevy with a huge sum of money to keep quiet? Unless, of course, like everyone suspects, there's far more to the story than everybody thinks. At what age did Philip Schofield really meet Matthew McGreevy? When did they really start to have an adult relationship? Who else knew about it? And who else was involved? But sadly, thanks to this gagging order, I don't think we'll ever know. Unless, of course, Philip Schofield pops his clogs, which I believe could end the gagging order, and Matthew McGreevy appears out of obscurity and tells us everything. So until then, I think we're all in limbo. Which brings me on to Hugh Edwards. Now, the young lad that he supposedly swapped, well, it's not supposedly, it's confirmed, swapped pornographic photos with, he hasn't been named, the family hasn't been named, and the Sun newspaper seems to have stopped all mention of it. Why? Is there a gagging order in place there as well? I mean, if Hugh Edwards was giving this lad tens of thousands of pounds for pornographic photos, then why not pay him off with a gagging order, just like Philip Schofield? I think when it comes to the public interest and alleged crimes of nonsery, I think gagging orders should be prevented from assisting these people from hiding the truth. And sadly, I think you know as well as I do, the entertainment industry here in the UK and all over the world, it's full of these people who take advantage of, of young kids and then pay them off with huge sums of money to protect their careers. And it's my opinion, these people should all be exposed for what they really are. And there we go, that's that. I'm Paz49, thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.